Nope. Okay. Must be the sign of the times today. Strange looking opening that's going on here. I try to get rid of them pawns in the centre. That didn't happen, did it? Mm hmm. Looks so like we might be in a bit of trouble. This knight's going to get hit. This is not a good position that I'm in. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Look at the state on this. Yeah, yuck. This does not look good. Time's running down as well. It's not good. in the magic moves oh, they've got it all sewn up aren't they moving so quick come on come on faster faster this is an odd opening this is really weird how did I end up in this position is not good. Let's just keep pressure on. I'm going to have to try and convert it because it doesn't feel nice. King's not even castled. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> this is so bad. Ugh. I like to play ugly chess but oh come on dude. I need to get my maybe castle queen side. He's not letting up. He's not letting up at all. Queen side castling. Fingers crossed. Got three pieces on this pot. Yay, yay. It's not wearing any of them apples, is he? Let's go here, come on, time, time, time. Can't go queenside castling now. Can't go any castling. Oh, my life is all over me. So I'm going to have to castle by hand, protect the pawn. Man, they're like lightning. Okay, let's pressure the king. All his pieces are on the other side of the board. This king's home alone. 247. Come on, come on, come on. I think he's realised that his king's home alone. Let's just keep pressing. <clears throat> We've got like a few pieces aiming towards his king area. Potential for this rook to get into the game as well. This has got to be one of my ugliest openings ever this year. Wow. No castling. Castling by hand. But somehow we've 
pushing these pawns towards this king area while his pieces are on the other side of the board I think they're going to start gravitating over at open up the space around the king so it should be done shouldn't it because now we could actually if he takes, takes, then rook, queen every, everything's putting pressure on him so he's coming into the lines then if he, oh man he did take he's coming into the lines then we get a check then we have the rook coming across got the knight being able to attack as well get the queen involved maybe save this one got that diagonal there for a checkmate in a sense rook's defending can double up now so that makes that pretty simple almost so it looks like the convert oh and we're winning on time as well conversion worked but that was so ugly oh my gosh I'm going to have to look at the evaluation on this one look at all these pieces on the other side of the board I mean that's the key thing isn't it in terms of the answer process I think the opponent gave it to us because they did have their pieces initially around our king area and my king wasn't even castled uh, yeah I was just reacting to whatever they were doing and danced with the knight around here I think we choked ourselves in the early part of the game but now it looks like I don't think there's much that they can do to defend because his pieces are on the other side of the board and his king is home alone Woof, yeah, I need to look at the analysis on that one because that was a bit shocking yeah. that was a bit shocking I wonder if he's done like a computer analysis thing for us no okay fair enough um, let's take these arrows off and let's have a look at this terrible 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 okay so we captured then we brought the knight out I think we moved a little bit quick I was getting my screen set up and everything I just threw moves out and then this potential here you know straight away attacking I, I should have probably just brought this out I mean it's not showing it's a bad thing but I think bringing this knight out probably would have felt better I moved a bit too quick there it doesn't actually like that knight move but that potential there even pushing this pawn like we do as well you know to stop that and then we can bring the knight out so it likes that pawn move better yeah so throwing this knight out there that was a bit too quick I was busy messing around with the screen getting it ready for recording so I did a knee jerk reaction so I'm dancing knights on the edge of the rim it's protecting this pawn here but that don't feel good gauge bar showing it looks okay but that didn't, does not feel good to me and then they're pushing through the center looking to control the center so we're trying to then disjoint these pawns you know hoping that he's going to do like an on pass on type thing so at least then we can feel a little bit comfortable uh, but they don't do that gauge bar is still on our side but we do not feel good so looking to support this because i'm expecting the knight to move this bishop's good bishop's going to be attacking the knight so that's an early flap at the very early part of this particular game and bringing the bishop through here yep we just wanted basically to have pieces around our king area and that's showing it's a big massive no no there but in my head i'm thinking this does not feel good my knight's gonna have to move i need to get the bishop towards the king area so that it gives them something to think about 
and the knight comes and attacks the bishop so we can bring our knight out of the way we did know that the knight was going to move and we were definitely just going to be moving it here anyway because we couldn't move it here so that kind of worked in our favor because if the knight does take then we can take um, the, the bishop back sorry take the knight back with our knight so that worked for us there but this is so ugly look my king the basic principle that we talk about which is the king getting castled um, all because I was messing about with my screen and I just did a knee jerk reaction but I suppose in a way it helps to what's the word now find different ways of working your game and this was very messy so we come down and attack the bishop knights hunt the bishops in our mantra pretty straightforward and they bring the bishop back so now we can start attacking the bishop <clears throat> but the problem is our king hasn't got castle but there's nothing really threatening the king at the moment so we can attack a higher piece with a lesser piece and it's elevating the pawns towards the king which is still alone really at this moment in time because it's only got the rook here and the rook really doesn't want want to be in this position to be effective so then they push the pawn down so they in essence for me i'm thinking oh they could have been, de been developing the pieces out maybe you know making the king feel a little bit safer but this single pawn move here is actually just going to get taken off the board so it's not really giving any pressure probably expecting some pressure towards the king at some point but we still do have pressure on his pawn here and still have the pressure being able to push towards here so a different kind of mindset so the bishop has to move back so they lose a little bit of tempo there in terms of having to move the bishop back so on paper it looks like we're advancing up the board we look more kind of aggressive in the way that we're moving up the board but my king is not safe as I mentioned in the game are we going to go queenside castling or not it all depended on what the opponent did so then they come and attack our knight so now we can mobilize our knight now to attack this pawn maybe support the pawns if they're coming up here maybe coming back round again maybe trying to get the bishop into the game somehow as well so like i said need to start looking to convert because the panic really was maybe they're putting, starting putting pressure onto this pawn so the queen comes down elevating itself but it doesn't look like it's really attacking anything too meaty because at the end of the day it's got the rook knight here if he's looking maybe to come here with the rook then if the queen takes then the pawn can't take because our king is there so that's not a good position so brought the queen through looking to support but also tripling up on this pawn which does have sights of attacking the king if if need be so the bishop takes the one of the supporting knights off so we capture so at this point now there's no real point in actually going queenside castling because queen's going to start causing a little bit of hassle So they push the pawn down, uh, so, uh, yeah it's supporting this pawn, I suppose it's doing something but it's not really getting these pieces into the game and it's not linking the rooks up so we're happy with that but we have to do something with our king really at some stage. So bringing the bishop through, just really elevating to maybe get some direction towards here, towards the king area, I can feel the kind of pressure potentially that we can put towards the king area also it gets the bishop off the back if we then need to link up the rooks queen's down so it is attacking the pawn here so it gives the king a bit of a purpose to actually protect the pawn and bring itself to safety behind these part the pawn and the bishop so it's got a little bit of a virtual castle around it at the moment then the knight comes out it's they're attempting to do something but i'm not sure really that this move gives them much benefit because it's not got scope to attack anything I suppose it's got a scope to come back around again so this gives us opportunity to start putting pressure with our lesser piece and the queen is um, jostling again maybe we thought trying to get back to the king to help it so that it's not feeling home alone 
so we continue the attack but that didn't actually happen so they brought the bishop which really maybe were they thinking of bringing the bishop here to come here or something again that felt a little bit like a non-move which is good for us so that's how the way I looked at it so we could grab the pawn the pawn is on the rook if the king takes the world of hurt is really coming on the king because the king is definitely home alone so they do actually capture and um, we can bring the rook up now basically just to say well okay we want your king on this file so we can start putting pressure on it so it's definitely going to be home alone it is risky but it's one of those where it looks pretty obvious that that is going to be the case I mean we could have swung the knight across here I don't know how much difference that would have made you know for a check and he can run somewhere maybe try to get himself to safety um, I don't know the continuation or anything like that but we could have done that but it just doesn't look too meaty because like I'm now looking for a continuation potentially pushing the pawn up here just to attack the pawn but now I've basically blocked my own rook and the activity for the queen to get in there to actually face off the king so I'm probably giving them opportunity to escape regroup their pieces doing that so actually taking the pawn opens up the king keeps it on that file so now we can push through with a check on the king uh, so we're winning tempi and now we can bring the queen across so that's again looking for a nice tasty um, checkmate position there brings the rook down so we can now double up and look to basically hit the back rank and get a checkmate that way and at that point the um, opponent resigned so yeah definitely a strange one but I suppose in a way I have to kind of feel comfortable with that type of position I, the, I don't really want to do that again um, I think that was an error the opening was not the best and I think if the opponent had played it a little bit better they would have really creamed me in the early part of the game because my position really was not good